Okay, we're going to do a little bit of work with isotopes. Remember from the book, isotopes are atoms of the same element with different numbers of neutrons. Um, to remind us of this, we're going to use the example they gave us in the textbook uh, with carbon. All right, let's look carbon here on the periodic table. Right up here. There we go. Carbon's right up here. Carbon's atomic number is six, has six protons, and the average mass 12.01 means that the most common isotope of carbon has a mass of 12. So, carbon 12, you write it like that, the mass, that 12 at the end means uh, indicates the mass of the carbon. Carbon 12 has six protons, and because it's got six protons, it's going to have six electrons. The mass of the nucleus, 12, remember that's where all the mass is in the, um, in the atom, is in the nucleus. The mass being 12 means that the other six AMU of mass comes from the neutrons. The six protons and the six neutrons combine to make the 12 AMUs for the mass of carbon tar, carbon 12. Now, there's also a um, uh, isotope of carbon which has a mass of 14. You guys may have heard of carbon 14. Sometimes it's called C14. Again, the 14s indicate the mass of this isotope of carbon. Carbon 14 is used a lot in uh, uh, radioactive dating of um, old shipwrecks, fossils, things like that. Old living stuff. Old stuff that used to be living. Uh, because we have carbon, we still have six protons and six electrons. But in this case, remember the mass of the entire atom comes from the nucleus and these two numbers have to be 14. That means that 14 minus the six protons is going to be eight neutrons in carbon-14. All right, let's get another example um, using, let's say, uh, uranium. Let's see, let me squeeze all this down. I may not squeeze, let's get that out of the way. And boom, there we go. Okay, that's all associated. Okay, anyway, here we go. Let's, we're gonna work, look at uranium. There, uranium. And the periodic table. Uranium is down in the very bottom of the periodic table. Right down here. All right, in the actinides. Uranium's got an atomic mass of 92, and its average atomic mass is 238.03. That means that the most common isotope of uranium has a mass of 238. All right. So, move that out of the way. And we're looking at uranium 238. There we go. So, the number of protons. It's uranium, so it's going to be 92. And the electrons are going to match that. It'll be 92. And the neutrons, remember, in the nucleus, all this has to work out to be 238. So that means the mass is 238, containing protons and neutrons. If we take the protons away, we're going to have a two from eight is six, and that gives us four and one, 146 neutrons in U238. Now, there's also a, uh, an isotope of uranium called U235. All right, now U-235, still being uranium, has 92 protons, and of course we'll have 92 electrons. But in this case, with the neutrons, remember the, that mass right there has to be 238. I'm 235, sorry about that. We're going to have 235 for the mass, take away the protons, and that's going to be 143 neutrons. So the number of neutrons in the 
isotope of uranium that has a mass of 235 is 143. All right, so here you go. We've got two different isotopes of uranium, and they have different numbers of neutrons. There you go. All right, you guys can get started on the third part of that worksheet. Thank you very much.